Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to another set of videos in which we continue uh, to create a sales order and process it. So in my last video I actually created a sales code and then we're just going to move that sales code to a sales order. Uh, before I actually go into a bit more detail, I uh, just wanted to remind anybody who wants to take the certification for Business Central. So I have passed the exam and I am officially certified as a Business Central uh, consultant, so an associate certification that I have received by doing the exam. And a uh, few things that I want to point out uh, again, uh, but prior to you know, getting into this video, I actually had another video talk about the exam itself. Uh, but I want to re-emphasize a few things here before we can actually go into the actual um, video itself. So in the exam, uh, you should uh, know how to do a handful of setups. Uh, setups including inventory setups, uh, purchase and payable setups, and uh, sales and quote even in the uh, general ledger setup. So all these setups you should be very familiar with. Uh, you should know how uh, you can accommodate in the requirements. So if a requirement comes in your way uh, from a client, for, for instance, uh, you know that exactly how mm -hmm. you can uh, perform that and configure that. Uh, so an example I would like to give you is within the sales code actually, uh, is that the location uh, that your, um, uh, I guess that your client wants to uh, make the location code mandatory. So whoever is actually making a sales code uh, and a sales order, uh, mm -hmm. or even a purchase uh, code or purchase order, they want to make the location code mandatory. So how do you do that? And a way to do it is actually getting, go into the inventory setup. So these uh, things are the ones that will really test you in the exam. And apart from that, obviously, uh, performing business central tasks, so purchase orders, purchase codes, purchase invoices, how you navigate within business central. So these are the things that will help you actually uh, pass the exam so you become really good at it and if you need more information you feel free to ping me up about it and then I can give you some guidance accordingly but my videos have been very helpful I think so if you want me to actually create a set of videos that uh, focuses on a particular module a particular scenario then feel free to give me the comments and then I will uh, find the time to create some videos for you so with that um, we will jump right into the actual objective of this video. So I have created the sales code, so you could see the two sales codes that are available. Uh, this is the out of the box um, environment, so all the data that is already present, uh, and didn't really have to migrate any information here. But I have created a sales code, and then we're gonna move this into a sales order. So the first thing you need to do is to actually get into the sales code page. So go to sales, press, select sales code, open up a sales code here everything uh, should be uh, ready and approved so if an approval process is required you know you can always send it for approval it gets approved and then you simply release it uh, so prior to actually creating a sales order we would need to release it and then it's as the status is open so we're gonna have to uh, release it first and then we'll create an order out of that uh, so these are the sales lines and everything I believe should be okay. So, so let's release this. Status is released. And the way to make a purchase or sales order out of it is simply going to process and make an order. So you want to convert the code into an order, press yes. And now it's saying the code has been converted into an order. So obviously these are the number series that it it is taking. Uh, from the number series applicable to sales order and do you want to open the order sure let's open the order if you don't know or if you don't want to open the order here you can always go into the sales and then go into the sales order list and then open the order from there here uh, everything has been converted from the sales code into a sales order uh, meaning that the item itself the quantity and if I keep going and scrolling to the right, the amounts are all applicable here. Uh, in order for you to actually process this, we want to make sure that uh, you understand you need to fill the quantity to ship and quantity to invoice. These are the two fields that you will be uh, changing as you ship the item and as you invoice it. 
So what I mean by that is if you are shipping only five out of the 10 items, then you simply change this to five. And then when we do posting, it will ask you that what would you like to do? Either ship and invoice all together. You want to simply ship it and not invoice anything, or you want to actually invoice it and not have the shipping post to receive. But in this case, we'll simply ship it because we did quantity to ship it five. So we want to ship that and we'll select the shipping. And now you can see that it has been shipped. So five items have been shipped, but we haven't invoiced it. So 10 are yet to remain. So this is actually how you process a sales order. And for you to create a sales invoice, you simply do the same thing quantity invoice however many uh, you have shipped already so we shipped five uh, we'll simply change it to five to post and you're gonna do post invoice so now you have shipped five and you have invoice five and the remaining amounts are five so this is automatically uh, uh, it's been inserted and that's one of the things that you should know that in the sales and receivable setup there is a a, a tab uh, a field you could say that allows you to pre-fill this so if your client doesn't want you to pre-fill the amount you simply disable that field so these are the things that also I'm helping you understand uh, for the certification aspect as well so these are things that you should be aware of and how you can connect it so with that actually I'll end the video uh, it's a short video um, let me know if you need anything uh, from a, a certification point of view uh, but for today, it's all about just creating a sales order and processing it.